This YouTube video was presented by Screamscape, your ultimate guide to theme parks. All right, we're here with Jeff from Busch Gardens Tampa, and we're going to talk Cobra's Curse here at the Mock Booth. Tell us a little bit, about, if there, somebody that's never heard of Cobra's Curse before, Jeff, tell us about the ride. So Cobra's Curse is unveiling at Busch Gardens Tampa in 2016. And when it opens, it's going to be the world's best spinning coaster. It's a great family thrill ride with a low height restriction, 42 inches, and just an overall fun experience from getting into the queue all the way to the end of the ride. There we go. Now it's got some really interesting cars, something that we haven't seen on a spinning coaster before, right? There's a lot of unique elements about this roller coaster. So the cars, like you mentioned, is one. Most, most spinning roller coasters actually are back-to-back -back facing or forward and front facing. We actually have all of our trains, all the riders are facing forward, and they look like mine cars. So we've got eight people per train, and those mine cars give us the ability to be on the ride going forwards, backwards, and spinning. So the ride will actually unveil itself in chapters as you go through the ride. It'll get more wild, more crazy as you go. Another unique attribute about the ride is actually there's a vertical lift element to start the ride. That takes you up 70 feet into the air, looking straight at an 80-foot snake icon. So you'll be face to fang with that snake as you go on your ride. Face to fang? Yeah. Now, uh, going in the Egypt section of the park? It's going in the Egypt section of the park, yeah. So we've actually, from a storyline point of view, we've actually taken some of those Egyptian aspects. So the storyline for the queue experience is that you're going through a queue. This is a modern day archeological dig site of our snake icon, Venomous. So this temple is to Venomous. As you, as you go through that temple, you can start seeing some things aren't necessarily right. And this excavation has actually unleashed the curse on our guests and on the riders, which makes such a wild, fun experience. Very cool. And uh, when you look at the model, one of the first things you notice, two different lifts. They're two very, very different styles of lifts. Yeah, exactly. So we wanted to make sure that this was a, a very unique roller coaster, not for Busch Gardens, but in the whole, the whole industry. So the first is the vertical lift to take you out to the, the, the riders towards the snake. And the second is an incline lift. And you actually go up that lift backwards. So you'll be going backwards up the lift before we start releasing you <laughs> on the free alert. spin points <laughs> of the ride. You know, uh, you said that the lifts were what caught your eye. To me, it was the trenches going up and over the train tracks. I think that's going to be really cool. It's now going to change the train ride, too, when you go in that area. Yeah, whenever we're putting a new roller coaster at Busch Gardens, we always want to integrate it very highly with the realm, with the pathways, with other rides. So like you mentioned, the train ride is going to be so much more great experience, but also the non-riders. If you see where the pathways intertwine on this ride, it's going over your head, underneath your head, it's it's going everywhere. So it makes the non-rider experience almost as fun as the rider experience. And with the train and all the pathways, it must give you quite the challenge because there are some really wacky looking supports on this ride. Oh, it's fun. That's, that's the fun part of the experience from an engineering perspective, to be able to try to fit within existing architectural spaces and existing rides. Yeah. Now, I've been going to the parks since I was a little kid. Probably, I mean, I'm five years old, I started going to Busch Gardens Tampa. And this is going to involve the old Tut's Tomb building, too, isn't it? It is, yeah. So we're very excited. This is going to be our first air-conditioned queue at the time. Yes. <laughs> Not like it's hot here. Oh, it's going to be great. Not only is it going to be air-conditioned, we're also going to have some great surprises in the queue as well. Oh, all right. what are these surprises? We'll have to tell you guys about that later. More They're to come. surprises? Well, you already told the one surprise about the lift going backwards. Then you can't get more than one. I only got one surprise, <laughs> I guess. All right. Um, you're very close to the project. What's your favorite part of the project? My favorite part of the, uh, the, the overall project is the, the way this roller coaster unveils itself throughout the ride, going forwards for a part of the ride, then spinning around going backwards for part of the ride, and then free spinning for the rest of the ride. It's not anything like it in the world. It's, it's going to be a great, great ride experience. Very cool. And it's right by one of my favorite. My favorite place in all of Bush Gardens is the, the beer patio up there by the uh, the, the Crown Colony Pub. Yes. And now it's going to be giving me something else. I can watch the giraffes and the, the zebras over to the left, and then I can watch Cobra's Curse on the right. Exactly. Those are things. Yeah. Uh, how are we looking on uh, construction time zone? It looks to us that uh, it's flying up. It seems like yeah. every single day there's now like 200 feet of track more. And... Right now we've got a little over a third of the track up. So and we'll continue to be getting ride pieces um, in and installed through the remainder of this calendar year through January. And then you'll see in the next few months after that, we'll start ride testing and opening sometime in 2016. All right, All right Jeff. Well, we can't wait to check it out. Looks That's like great. you got a winner on your hands. Thank, Thank you, guys. And we're going to go check it out in the spring at Bush Gardens. No, he said sometime. Sometime in the spring. 2016. 2016. 2016. Sometime in, I'm sorry, sometime in 2016. Okay. Well, sometime. We'll be there.